Hello everyone. Today is the soul reading as every Fridays, excuse me. Uh, so the new the new pro uh, programmation is that uh, we are going to do a soul reading, a general soul reading each Friday. And it's a soul reading for the week. Uh, next Friday and um, I would say the the 18th and the 25th i won't be there uh because i'm um in Manchester in california so uh for the next two weeks or i would say uh don't expect any soul readings uh, for august anymore uh because uh i'm going to start back in september only so i would like you to center yourself at the art chakra level to send an intention to the universe to receive messages for your self-evolution for your self-healing i'm connecting with you guys i don't know who is there but i'm connecting with souls souls that are going to be there watching that video in the future and people that are already there now. Um, first thing I connect with in voyance, voyance, clairvoyance, is some uh, sacred feminine energies. You need to reconnect with your intuition more. You need to reconnect with the fem feminine part of yourself, the one that uh, creates the one that um, nurtures, the one that um, do a lot of skills at the same time. So uh, just reconnect to that energy through meditation, just by asking, you know, your intention, prayers are really going to help you to reconnect with that energy. There's some unbalance, I would say. Mm -hmm. Uh, regarding your energies feminine and masculine but it's like if you had to call open uh, beautiful energies goddess goddesses to go get even if you're you're a male there it doesn't uh, it's not only regarding females it's uh, anybody you know at the soul level there is no sex there is no um, genders so reconnect to the feminine side of yourself but the feminine in an other i would say level sacred feminine energy uh, that's the first thing that i saw the second thing that they tell me there's a lot of things that they're showing me today that's the way i used to do my soul reading when i'm one-to-one -one with people it's not with tarot cards a lot i use them if i need but uh usually i see things sense things and hear things by clark cognizance too and the other thing they're saying it's that they're healing i would say your energy in your dna uh it's at the cell level in yourself it's deep 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 connection deep healing that is being done um i would say for the next few weeks and more for others uh, depending of people and your experience but um it's it's that at another level there's a lot of healing being done in your dna so I would say just visualize like a tornado of energy coming from Mother Earth, the I would say center of Mother Earth, and you see like a pure light energy that comes up into your chakras in your physical body, but also I would say out outside of your physical body like if there's a a torna tornado of energy light it's light and love all around you it's like a sacred space that it's creating around you 
and you can see it like going larger and larger and it clears purify your energy cleanse your energy um and also your your um energetic buddies so you're really being healed clear pure purified and you can sense releasing detachments being done from things people events um that you have created by the past in this life but also in the other lives that you're living at the same time um and by the past if you believe in that so and you can see that vortex of energy doing its course and it's going up 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 through i would say um god the source the uh, celestial uh source And you can sense all the releasing being sent in the ends of God. Just give God what you are living that is negative. And give that to God and God will release it for you. That's what I'm sensing. It's like I would say a little bit of soul reading, a little bit of soul coaching and some soul healing too. So we're working at several, I say soul reading, soul coaching, soul healing, but uh, it's not only at the soul level, right? It's at, um, I would say every level um, because what I, channel is good for all spheres of your life your physical body your spirit your soul you've been focusing a lot in the past lately uh, a little bit in the future too but it's like you're not centered in the present moment as much so life is asking you to really recenter yourself put more energy in the present moment it's going to help you uh, be more in your happiness the one that is there for everyone it's a divine one that one so just reconnect to your your um happiness inside of you and reconnect to what is good for you they're telling me with the tarot cards that you've been working on yourself uh, creating something putting a lot of energy through something that you're mastering right now so because of that continue put some energy continue be the best you can not regarding others regarding you you just try to be the best tomorrow that you've been today that's really something you can compare to and it's the unique thing you can compare to and with that you're helping i would say a lot of people around the world and mother hurt too because you're cle clearing stuff and you're being more into your truth into your light and you're walking the path of what you came here to do on earth and that's beautiful that's that's why you incarnated yourself at the first place um when you sense that you're wrong or any kind of negative energy sometimes you do something you don't do it and you feel like oh, i should have had done that or whatever regrets or um sensing that you've you've done something wrong in a way uh that's not really i would say you're in the dark side of yourself when you're thinking that so reconnect yourself with the light inside of you the the your heart your soul and it's going to rebalance your life rebalance um, your energy at that moment 
because success is not in darkness it's in when you're expressing light and love um, and more you're going to share that light and that love more you're going to be in joy inside of yourself and uh when you're at joy the joy level when you're expressing joy in your life it's when you attract all your desires uh abundance in your life so and just integrate continue to integrate whatever i would say knowledge is you're receiving healing you you are doing uh continue to listen to the voice of your intuition even if you um you don't even know it's there always uh, but when you hear that little voice speaking to you try to firstly see if it's an alignment with your soul and if it is you're going to sense something it's a great feeling inside of you and that great feeling is really an anchor to see, to to tell you okay just walk that path it's right for you so listen to that force more and more and more and you're going to really create success in your life surely you're going to face some other i would say wars or conflicts inside of you because it's always inside of us uh, but that's beautiful why because it says that you're healing yourself and you're pur purified purifying your energy so you're going to be more i would say in alignment with your soul and that's really really awesome so don't crit criticize excuse me for my my words uh don't criticize what you receive and what you're experiencing because it's always beautiful and it's always divinely guided uh even if in appearance it's like negative for you it's only a perception for the moment you'll see there's always gifts behind or beneath any darkness that you can think is there um and whenever that conflict is going to disappear um dissolve or uh, change because usually darkness is transformed in light and that's beautiful i would say that's the most beautiful part um and you can sense it for people that are sensing inside of me it's uh, unconditional love um and what when, when that is done uh take some time to celebrate life and just take some time now if you didn't by the past take some time for all the things you have done that because you did a lot and that's beautiful but continue your path huh? um creativity is going to i would say um give birth you're going to give birth to creativity through the transmutation the transformation of the darkness inside of you into light love so um just be receptive try to create uh we are all channels uh people that says uh, oh i am a um uh, medium uh, uh, i am a clairvoyance i am a channel uh, we are all that <laughs> so it's it's the ego talking for a lot i know that we have to um to um specify put words on what we do uh that's how people understand and it's a connection but at the end it's only words because we have every 
everything inside of us everybody we are all united and we we can if we want to do anything we don't have any limitations except for the ones that we have created ourselves sending you a lot of love light and you can sense it abundance I hope for you in all spheres of your life because abundance is really your birthright. And um, joy, joy and peace, peace in, to your being, being peace and expressing that. That's the first step to help a uh, wild world. So, um, thank you. Have a nice week. See you. Uh, on September, perhaps I'm going to do little uh, videos on uh, Fridays. I, I'm I'm not sure yet, but uh, expect that I come back only in September. Thank you for being there. Have a nice uh, week or weeks. See you. Thank you.